Well, should we tell everyone how we first met? Yes. <laughs> Do you want to tell it or should I tell it? <laughs> I might have a different, a little bit of a yeah, different maybe, version. Yeah, you probably know more than... Well, I, you know, I mean, I was looking for a photographer and I was working with someone else who was great. He was a great photographer. And for whatever reason this day, I needed a photographer and he wasn't available. So then he connected me with you and he said, yeah, just give her a call, you know, um, she might be available. So I called you and I think you were recently moved, you recently moved from Chicago to yeah, New York I believe I was like around that time. Two months in. I was just like, yeah, there's this like science project happening at a, at an elementary school mm -hmm. and you know, are you available to come? Like the return of following the instinct and putting the ask out there and what God has sent back. The yeah. return is like amazing. Yeah. But then we met and we did a little bit of a shoot and I think, I don't know that we worked together after that. I think, I think there maybe was, one more. There was one actually Soul Food Talks right. in Prospect Park. With Kennedy, yes. So then I called you again and I was like, can you come to this? And I think that was also very last minute. Yeah, it was also last minute. I think the, someone same. dropped. The same person <laughs> dropped. The same photographer I was working with dropped. And then yeah. I said, okay, I'm going to call you. Yeah. So if that wasn't a sign, okay, yeah. I need to recognize <laughs> yeah. the signs. So called you, we worked together, and then months later, I was at a point where I was just like, I want to take this to the next level. You know, there's only but so much I could do alone, and I want partnership, I want someone to help me. And I think I was just asking for like a social media coordinator, mm -hmm. and I was looking and looking and looking, and looking and looking. And then I got still, yeah. and your name just popped up. And I was like, well, she's a photographer. I don't know that she'd be interested in like yeah. managing my social media or, or doing anything else. And look at what this has become. Yeah. So I think the lesson there for me, there are many lessons. Yeah. But I think one of the lessons is to not be afraid to ask. Even if that feels like for you, like uncertain, because I was uncertain if you were gonna yeah. say yes or I don't know. But just to get sure about the fact that the desire is there and to make the ask unapologetically. And yeah, just to trust yourself. Yeah. To trust yourself. Yeah, I think that was also for me one of the first times, especially at that time, I was very much like, okay, I need to be concepting my own things. I need to have more of a streamlined vision, even though it was like still all over the place, but I was just trying things all the time. And I was like trying to organize things on my feed. And I remember you had said, you were like, I love the way that you are organizing your feed and do these shoots. Like I want you to do what you do with me, like in collaboration. And that was the first time that someone had ever sort of like seen something that was like, I see something. There's like a potential. There's a seed. I was like, definitely. If I look at my work back, then I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that was but, <laughs> but there was something there still, you know. So you saw something, and you believing in me, then I think also allowed it to be what it is now too. Wow. Because there was an openness, and like, I'll let you take the lead here a bit too. You know, we all have our own roles, and we have. You know, Keon's the stylist, and he's the stylist, and I'm never gonna be like maybe this or that unless you know he asks for our opinion. But it's like we all have our roles and trust each other so much in that, which I think makes our team so strong Absolutely. too. You know, when we first started, yeah, in my living room in my warehouse loft in Bushwick, me like, literally like back against the fridge, <laughs> minimal space. I remember that. Yeah, every like yeah. very dark, no windows. Right. And just to be like, okay, and now we're at this, now we're at this stage. Still not a lot of space, but like mm -hmm. we have some natural light, so mm -hmm. you know that's getting better. But to know that we have really made the most of our resources, right. you know, that that practice of using what you have. Don't don't try and be something that you're not. Otherwise, it's not really you. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like what. What could you, if we had a, a, a huge budget to go on location somewhere, this and this, it's like, well, does that really look like how we live our lives? Mm -hmm. No, it doesn't. Mm -hmm. So why would we try and do that? This is where we're at. This is how we do things. This is our method. And as we continue to grow, the, the product will 
grow and evolve too. Your yoga routine <laughs> regimen is like bananas. Yeah. It is serious, it is insane, it is, God, it just, it's just who you are. Yeah, you know? it really does feel that way. But you really feel like that's, that's what grounds you. That's yeah. like that practice. Yeah, it's a reminder that when you go into the room and you get on your mat and you're within these four corners of this mat and how you approach your practice on that mat, mm -hmm does mirror how you approach your life in general. Like, how far you push yourself, are you trying to perfect things, how aware are you of your body? Mm -hmm. And then to know that you always have support, literally from the earth. Totally. Like, there's always something beneath us. Just to know that you have that foundation and that support, mm -hmm. that you have to, like, rise tall and be just as strong in return, you know? Mm -hmm. It's like the earth is giving that to you. What are you giving to the earth? You have to be like strong and powerful in that. Wow, yeah. that's a great analogy. I mean, just to yeah. think about the way you live life, that you're always supported no matter what. You might not always feel it, but to just know in your heart that no matter where you are, yeah. what you're doing, where you go, that there's always something under you supporting you. Yeah. God, the universe, whatever you might call it. For me, Yoga has taught me to let go. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that's that's part of the reason that it's, it's easy for us to work together because the trust is there, mm -hmm. but because I trust, I'm able to let go. You know, totally. and I'm trusting that you are always rooting for my rise and that you want to see me, totally. you know, be my best self. And I feel like I can't ask for a better relationship to have than that and I feel like everyone needs that everyone needs yeah. a person a significant other a brother someone who is going to tell you the truth who will love you unconditionally yeah. who will root for your rise who's going to be 100% supportive and want to see you be your best self that is what you are for me mm -hmm. and yeah. it's it's special to have that yeah. because you know, some some people don't experience that in their work life, but they experience that in their personal life. Yeah. And I feel like I have both. Yeah, on so many levels. On so many levels. Yeah. And that's a real blessing to have. Expressing gratitude is also a practice. I think for all of these like really important relationships, especially as you know, we talk so much about our tribe and who is who is in this. And I feel like for those people, it's like I really need to. And because I want to, I really feel that I have to tell you how grateful I am for you and kind of reiterate that because that's like helping grow this plant or whatever mm -hmm. we are like creating together, you know? Yeah. But I think w what is great is that we're building a foundation. This foundation is very important because you're able to make a lot from a little totally. type of thing. Totally. And I think that will always be a consistent string. And I was telling the guests, I was like, you know what, I see Laz and I when we're 30 years old and we're sitting and we're just like trying to concept something and we have to be like, let's stop for a second. We need to go back to our foundation mm -hmm. because now we have so much extra. Mm -hmm. But like, what, what's at the core of us? What really got us started? Right. And that's where we are now and what we have built the last two years. Totally. So the cookbook is just... It's like a marker in time of where we are now. <laughs> it's a marker in time, and it's going to live on for generations to come. Yeah. And I just want to just thank you yeah. for oh your support, your friendship, your creativity. It is beyond anything I ever imagined when I asked you to just <laughs> help me figure out what to do on Instagram. Um, I got way more than I asked for, and so I'm forever grateful for that. Our souls are growing. Outside of the work and the yeah. creativity, it's just like, we're growing together. We're growing. Yeah.